Immigration is a batch import and replace alternative to uh, doing things the normal way. Um, if you've ever had to deal with long image sequences in After Effects, you know that they usually look something like this. And if you have them in separate folders, to import each one um, can be a bit of a pain. You can drag and drop, but it, it gets a little bit more complicated when you're trying to replace. With immigration, you can just indicate a root folder, in this case, the source files, and then extremely quickly, immigration will identify all of the file sequences as file sequences, so the same way that you would see them after they're imported. So then you can just shift and select and bring in the sequences that you want, quickly tell it the frame rate that you want, and then import them immediately. Now, if you needed to replace these with new passes from the next day, so in this case, let's say for example, I wanted to replace 101 with actually 103 from a different day. So the actual date and the scene name is changing. But when you're in replace mode and you hit the preview, immigration has got a very smart uh, matching algorithm that even though the names are not exactly the same, it still can tell which files are which files. And because the name is not exactly matched, it gives it a bit of a lime green. If I were gonna match with exact file names, so for example, say scene 101, and I hit preview, then we get a solid green because it's an exact match. Um, so then you just hit replace and the files are replaced. Another thing you can do with immigration is maintain a file hierarchy. So we'll switch back to import mode and say we wanna bring in these two files and then this file and this file. And I'm gonna say maintain hierarchy and then I'm gonna hit import. So as you can see here, it duplicated the same file hierarchy that was in the finder. So from source files, which is our main folder, then we had clips, then the date, then edit. What's really great about this is if later on I wanted to add, say for example, this 103 file, clip four, and say clip, I don't know, 101, and then maybe these two rock clips, and I hit maintain hierarchy again, immigration will recognize that hierarchy already existed and will put the files in the correct place. There's a, there's some advanced features in, in, in um, in immigration, you can actually have it, uh, for example, uh, only include files that are, say, a few hours old, say five hours old. So if you just like wanted to search only the newest files, or, or for example, exclude files that are, you know, more more than five days old, you can do that as well. And you can also filter out uh, folder folders. So for example, if you wanted to avoid, say, your archives folder, even though it's in the hierarchy. If you include it here, immigration will go ahead and skip those files. So essentially, immigration will save you literally hours of time if you had to go the old way of replace file and then you know replace the files that way. Uh, also, if you have to deal with uh, folders that have thousands of files and are placed in a server, immigration um, can scan folders extremely fast in my testing, uh, a folder with, say, 40,000 files on a server was taking over five minutes to open in the Finder, but in immigration took less than 12 seconds. So that's immigration. Hope you enjoy it. Please watch the more in-depth tutorial for more on all the great features in immigration.